This is honestly like an amazing game. Absolutely love this. Hi, Panda. What's up, Panda? How you doing today? Yeah, this is really honestly becoming one of my favorite games. I absolutely love this. I, I it was already, I was really honestly already into it. This new expansion came out and it looks beautiful. What you want? Guess we should have figured to the moment we got a new book, this whole place we come crumbling down. Serves us right for trying to take any action for ourselves around here. Someone's got to clean up the mess and anchor this book, and since you're the only one diving in these days, this task falls on you. Oh no, what's up? Looks like your quill is a bit out of sorts too, so it might be best to go straight to the source. Okay, so I need to go talk to the gardener for like multiple reasons. I'm on vacation, so I'm sending people to you. Oh, where are you at vacation? Hi, unnamed. I have tacos. You have tacos? I'm jelly. Oh, here's the wardrobe. What does this thing do? You almost missed the cabinet trinkets placed neatly in the atrium as, as it had always been there. As you open the doors, you catch a whiff of lacquer on the wooden panels. Inside sits a note next to several perfectly crafted carvings and other artifacts and note. Through... Threw in some extra goodies for you, some made, some found. Figured I'd let a little uh, sad and empty otherwise. Unlock access to trinkets. There we go. Hey. Odd Popeyes. Mmm. Panda, where are you on vacation? Alright, so what do these do? After defeating Guardian, the next font of wisdom gives a guaranteed legendary choice. Oh, so these are like relics. When battling the second Guardian, heal over 20 HP and gain 10 until the end of combat. I love it. The Delic Starship is guaranteed to show up in the first book selection. When entering Delic Star, gain four glyphs. If you don't, if you don't go to the gain four hundred quillings when entering the second book. Smoke bomb, grasp, and quicken are much more dyked to show up in binding. Wait, that's four hundred quillings, Jesus. Can I only equip one? I get I can only equip one. So let's get there. I think I just got a bad pull. Perhaps a Cartesian embellishment here. What's Valley Fair? I really want to try this. Yeah, let's try the daily challenge. Oh, I haven't unlocked the new character yet, so. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. The last two waves of the combat spawn at once. All vestiges off our shops are legendary. Death's Scythe. On defeating an enemy, this vestige gains plus one max HP. Oh. So that's what I'm doing. Wait, why is the weaver there? Do I have to play it as the weaver? Oh, I have to play as the weaver. Okay. What is Valley Fair? Is huge music bar kind of like Six Flags? What? And the meaning to ask, how is everyone fair in the Atenium? Been near an age since I've been back there. The gatekeeper still got a beard and not. Rhetoric, of course, give you a particular psychology. Our set size sociology. I can imagine the ruin there as well. I will, not, I will ask again to keep our meetings between us. He's weird. Tarnish fault. On your first turn, you gain one stack of evasive. That's not bad. Gain one magic power for each binding not on cooldown or the inkling compass. I'm going to go with the vase elusive. I like that. Increase AOE range. Uh, further range and wider area. I like the further range and range wider area. I love your music fact, uh, music parks. I think we're going to, in like three weeks, we're getting ready to go. Is it three weeks? No, it's, it's long. Maybe it's a month. It's a month away. We're going to uh, the music parks there in Orlando. Next day is Renfest. Ooh, see, Renfest is always fun. Send pics, please. Are you going with a bunch of friends? Okay, let's hop in here. We got combat, tarnish, combat, quilling. Let's go tarnished. Let's 
Let's grab this. What's my bat problem again? All vestiges off your shops are legendary. Uh, last two waves are combat at once, and then minus. Okay. That's right, Death Scythe. Very nice. That's something fun. So this battle. Oh, I set this battle. Oh, we get my coffee ready. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of people. Okay, that's freaking good. How many things do I have? Four. I gotta see if I can't eliminate all these ones yet. Oh, look at this. Okay, so if I do this, this they're dead. Like, no matter what, they're dead. Dodged. I'll just keep it there. Wait, how did I lose HP already? Oh, you know, I gained max HP. Okay, that's what happened. That's like so much fun, Panda. Oh, my area shrinks from where I go. That's interesting. all magical right magic 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 physical physical middle heard the combat end this vestige gains two max hp and restores two hp on your first turn gain 10 shield Ooh. there we go variancy because that builds more hp too so that's actually the perfect combo for this too go magic damage so i keep building up let's go to augment inflicts two stack of burns inflict, inflict threaded before dealing damage stitch can hit non-threaded enemies I almost want to pop this so I get extra damage. Let's go with the threaded. Build that up, you know? Ooh, fishing spot. Like your shoe crab. Okay. Here comes all my quillings. Nice. Binding timer. Okay, so. Smoke bomb. Deal 65 damage in a large area. Inflict days. Oh. That's cool. And then I have deal 13 damage to a moderate area. Around you, inflict 30 poison. So this is doing 6 damage per stack. This is doing 108. This is, this is huge. This is really good, though. This just does more damage in time, and I love the- I actually really like the Poison Vapor. The lab. The abandoned dark lab is now home to the captive. I've never actually seen this lab. I've never been here. This is my first time diving into this. Into the lab. Yeah, this is the first time me actually seeing this. <sighs> the captive. What is that? Superior vault. Something creepy. Door controls, door lab door controls. Let's see what this does. The pile of documents sits on the table besides the unresponsive figure. Most of them refer to studies of alien life forms and a search for sentient life, but one emblazoned 
emblazoned? Is that where the golden header damn order catches your eye? It read the aspect of the star captain has been successfully stripped. Binder has been condemned. The star captain's strong bosses have been recorded to Opal for use of their description. Oh, that's the star captain. That's what I want. Perhaps the straw boxes mentioned here contain artifacts of use artifacts as Opal prefer to keep hidden. Doesn't matter, whatever opening you door. Requires access key Opal. On defeating an enemy, 25% chance to gain one will. That's really good. On Un unflicting poison, inflict dazed. Oh, that's a that's a double whammy, because that was the whammy. After using both magic physical binding on your turn, reduce all cooldowns by one once per turn. And it gives me a ability. Harmonize and whistle. Let's go. Okay, so I need the key. Is there a way to get the key right now? Or don't, don't jump out there. Yeah. Access key Korra. Access key Opal. Let's see my missions here. Find the captain's log and the bridge at the end. Okay, so I have to call the captain's log for this one. I don't think I can complete this mission at this time. I'll probably have to come back. Let's go with the hard combat battle, even though the last two spawn at the end. Pushing the power. That's probably gonna come back and bite me in the butt that I didn't take that. Now I'm interested. Now I'm very interested. I'll come back and grab that. I'll probably use something in this battle. I'm very interested in seeing what the key does here. Oh my god, what the hell are you? Ooh, this thing too. All right, that kills you guys. That kills you. This kills you. Or oh, that hurts you. That gives me a will. That gives me power. No matter what, he's charging at me, right? Ooh, gets both of them. I'm in a dazed moment that I was like, oh man, we should totally get dazed. So them won't take no damage though. There's some quillings. I'm gonna position myself over here because I feel like this is gonna be the area next I need to go to. Oh, dodge. Oh, that's right. I have a Lusa, right? One per, once per turn? On your first turn. Okay. Who's charging me? You're charging me. Can I get both of you? See if I can't get you two. There's controlled weaving.
Dang. I was so close. There's the big guy. There's control weaving. There's that. There's that. There's that. There we go. On your first turn, if you're above half, if you are above half HP, you give three physical until the end of combat. Ooh. On your first turn, if you took no damage the previous turn, gain a critical charge and all bindings. Wow. Okay. That could be something magical. Is the carver next? Oh, I want to peek. I want to peek up here and see if the carver's next. Nope. Do I get the carver in this game? Take the magic. Let's augment. Inflict threaded before dealing damage. Wider area effect. On, on your turn, inflict one stack of frostbite and three stacks of burn to enemies with threaded. Just because? This stack? Let's try that. I've never, I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. I, I, I like that. I'm just searching around, see, making sure I'm not like missing something. Get a power of new binding or send one if your bar is full. Let's do it. My bar is not full, so I will gain a new binding here. Just making sure I'm not missing the key, you know? All right. Dread plus 75 damage for each attack of Dread and a small lose all Dread on defeating an enemy gain one stack of Dread. An ally gains one stack of evasive and gains critical charge on a random binding. That's really cool, actually. I'm going to go with Jinx. I've never actually used Jinx before. What's up, Panda? What's goodness? Is that the Carver? Yes. It means I can buy health. And I have so much HP. I'm okay. Or I'm so much Quillings. I'm, I'm okay with this. But... Hold on, you're standing in my light. Ah, back from those small little tasks. Took you long enough. Got those shields right here for you. What? You think I just had information? Told you before. You need something worth getting? I got it. Oh, one more thing. You're gonna want to bring those two steel hunks back to that big old library. Old man with a beard and bad attitude will want them. Oh, I finally am unlocking... That one class that I've always wanted to unlock. Oh yeah, these are always legendary, that's right, okay. On your first turn, Byron will grant you words of encouragement and a random buff. Either five shielding, two will, or 12 ability power, what? That's freaking cool. On your turn, lose one HP in combat, gain one ability power for every three missing HP you have. Double shield gain, oh, I can't reroll. I don't have enough money. I don't know if I wanna, <sighs> let's go Byron. The, pro the problem, though, is if I get Byron, I can't heal HP, and I'm really low in HP. As much as I want Byron, I gotta take the responsible route. Because Byron is really freaking cool. Oh, we're already at the boss battle. Very cool. Reach the Guardian. Nice. Captain's log. You can spend the captain's log upon the bridge of the abandoned ship Dar for any evidence of the missing aspect. Much of the writing is illegible, though what you can make out might might as well be since you have no idea what what any of the words mean actually. But as you page through the log, a small key tumbles to the floor with damn console chamber chamber. No aspect you found the council chamber may contain what you seek. Council chamber key. Um do I you give me an update. Use the key in the council chamber. Oh, okay. I don't think I have the council chamber open yet, so. But mimic. 
On being hit or, or on hitting, gain one stack of mimic heat. At 10 stacks, the next attack deals double damage. Jesus. Okay, you're charging at me, so... Let's see if I can't make this a little more interesting here. Here's my controlled weaving. Now they die. Yeah, see, they die. Well, crap, now I gotta go to this area, so. Because if I can't ship this perfectly to get. It's like a matter of inches. Literally a matter of inches. Like, it's a matter of figuring out where the perfect angle is for all these, you know? Oh! Uh, I clicked it by accident. Well, that's not good. I have limited, I have limited movement. So I'm not going to be able to get out of this circle. He's just going to hit me hardcore. Okay, thank God for that shield, man. Thank God for that, that potion. How much stacks of Jinx do I have? I have Dread. So I'm going to about to do, what, what was it? 800, uh, 675 damage in a small area. And I've got Magic Harmonizing. And I've got Troll Weaver. Cool. Now what does more damage? This or this? This does more damage. Holy crap, this does more damage. And I'll be that in that turn. Jesus, do you see that? Okay, so. Did it say small area? Oh, I was like, okay. I mean, did it say small area? That is not a small area. <laughs> yeah, no matter where I move here, he's going to come fight me. So... Can't do anything now. I mean, the bindings and damage till next turn. So, it's gonna wait. Can I finish him? I don't know if I can finish him. This is more damage. This is less damage. This is less damage. See if I can't 
mess with him a little bit here. so close to killing him too. Look at that. Alright, let's see if I can't capitalize on this here. No matter what, they're charging at me, so I'm just gonna have to do damage. Quillings, yay! Epic Augment and then a Binding Tuner. Plus five poison damage, plus 30, stack, uh, 30 damage per stack of dread. I think that's beautiful. <coughs> Forty-five damage in a distant area, inflict 30 stacks of poison. If the enemy already has stacks of poison, deal poison damage. To a single enemy, no, I like the pure, uh, pure Putrefy. Putrefy, I love that one. See, that one's my, probably one of my favorites. I think I get a health thing here too as well. I wish it was a little bigger than 10 HP though. Additional spike damage per stack. Plus two poison damage is nice. I want to pass and get more HP right now. All right, there's the Garden's Edge. Now the Garden's Edge is where I got to go to the Gardener in this one to unlock another thing that I have I have yet to be able to unlock. So. A uh, heroic vault. Ooh, that might be worth it. And it's a rare augment. Let's go with the hard counter. Even if that ends up, even if that ends up like ending my run, it's worth the risk. Amazing. Okay, I gotta go this guy's way first. That's one. There we go. Oh, what the hell are these things? But I, I already... I guess I already phased, so how, how did that not... This is why I took the HP. See, this is exactly why I took the HP.
Let's go and just eliminate him. And start tugging on him. Okay, now the goal is to kill this guy this turn. There we go. Like, the goal is to definitely kill this guy. Where's my max HP at, anyway? Looks like I'm at a very high amount of HP. Plus 44. Plus 6. I'm at a very high max HP. Max HP. I just can't restore it all. I'm being hit. The message gains 1 max HP up to 30 max HP. I can keep growing my HP. Unhitting, inflict 1 stack of burn. Uncritting, inflict days twice per turn. Let's get that going. Want ability power? Oh, ability power is so good because it, it covers all this and it's 10%. I wish I could heal. I would I should have healed, but whatever. You deal 20, plus 25 is afflicted with poison. Minus one will cost. That'd be a normal thing. I'll roll one time just to see what happens. Oh, yes. That gives me a little more options, you know? It gives me a little more options to kind of figure things out a little bit. All right. Inflict threaded. Deal 17 damage in an area at a distance. Inflict threaded. Uh, controlled weaving grants plus three ability power. Oh, that is strong. Deal 88 damage, inflict threaded. If already threaded, detach it instead. Undetaching a thread, gain five ability until the end of power. Or until the end of uh, the end of turn. So I can gain so I can tether and then untether and then tether. But I don't have the I don't have stuff for that. Let's go weave. I like the I like the area. I like the area effect. This is the carver. Sea breach, and this is the binding empowerment. Um, let's go with the carvers. Reason being is I could buy this and still purchase a legendary. I'm collecting an orb, gain 10 ability power until the binding is used, and I get plus one will. This is going to increase my this is going to increase my attacks here. On your turn, reduce all cooldowns by one. Plus five magic power? Damn. I like this one, though. I like this one, too. We'll go with that one. We'll do that. Hey, Nidus, do I look like a swimming type to you? Seriously, you think I'm the kind of fellow to, sh to strap on a pair of stupid-looking goggles and flail my arms around like some lunatic? No, I don't think so. So why then all of a written contrition would you do something so stupid as to make the sea angry and start rising, huh? Where is this value only stay valuable long as they're dry? Plus, money's no good if it's all around to spend. When did I piss off the... Why are we doing this? I don't know. Let's just go with the normal combat this time. Um, Just because I have only 30 HP. Even though the shielding is going to help a lot, I don't want to... I really don't want to risk it. I want to get to the end of this and just be there. You know what I mean? I want to get to the end of this run and be good. I've never done the daily. This is my first daily. I think dailies are new. I think that's a new addition. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is my first time me seeing the daily. Wow, this is a tough battle. Kill both the other ones and get me out of danger there. Wow, okay. Um, all right, friends. Oh. <laughs> 
That kills them. Wait, let's pull this first. I think it's more shield. I don't even notice these guys were here. All right, they're gonna hurt. Oh, well, I actually have enough. I think I have enough shield to not have to worry about it. Get the phasing out. Do that. Kill you. Three, was that 3,000 damage? Holy hell. Did I just crit on that? On your turn, restore one HP. On critting, inflict 10 stacks of poison. On defeating an enemy, 25 cents chance a uh, chance to grant or to gain one will. That's not that's not bad at all, actually. What would I replace though? Can't replace that. That's my HP. I almost want to replace this, but it gains me HP. Well, this actually crits every single time. I didn't think about that one, but. I like the crit, though. I do like the crit. That's hard to get rid of the flaming fist, fist because this means I'm burning you with this the whole time. I need one more slot, man. <laughs> when you first turn, gain one stack of evasive. I'm almost willing to give that up. It's like, yeah, that is the first attack, but I'm not, I'm, I'm building up a shield now, you know? So it's like not a big deal. <laughs> um, I think I'm good over here. I think I've popped all the things I want to pop. The garden. Yeah, oh, there we go. The carver's right there. I wish I could have gone the carver, honestly. But. The gardener is somebody. Heroic vaults. On hanging in an enemy inflicted with. Nope, don't have that on turn. Sorry, if you have 50% max HP or less, gain re resistance. That gives you max HP. On dodging, gain 10 ability power until a binding is used. Here, reroll these. Oh. It's almost like, why wouldn't I take that? The shielding was really good too. Hi Gardner. Needless, I assume you returned to offer an apology for your recent rifling on my shelves. As you no doubt realize, there's a good reason those books have been kept from the Athenium. And to make matters worse, you decided to take one book that was never meant to touch the binary and place it directly in inside of it. Unleashing a terror, I almost lost my life trapping inside that book. Needless, the time is fast approaching where my patience for your carelessness will wear thin, but until then, I suppose I'll offer you my help again. 
You will need to anchor this book like any other. Follow the strokes of my story and the bindery will do the rest. And since it seems your quill is unable to provide the plot, I will help you with that at least. Boss time. All right, here we go. Who is it? Nim. Nim's cool. Wish they make a little thing about Nim. Nim's allies gain attack, and defeating one of Nim's ally, Nim, Nim gains attack. Okay, so let's Nim it up. I was I prefer Nim to gain. I prefer Nim to. Have to suffer the poison. There we go. No matter what, I can't avoid this is a uh, area effect, so it's like whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, this is that's more damaging if I have more threads. Not summon anybody? You didn't. That's weird. Did I take the power orb right now? No. Pull everyone in. That's gonna be a waste, so. Um, I'll take one power orb and I'll stand instead of the next one. There's that. I'm so close to beating him too. I can't get away from this though. I'm gonna take hit no matter what. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, this is to. Oh, this is 195 each. After enemies attack, deal 20 damage. So this is 200. And that's his hat shreds the uh, threads, though. I'd want to do this so I can, like, bing, ding, bing, 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 bing. But this is more damage in my mind. Ooh. That's already stacked up. This has a potential when I get to 10. This has a potential of doing like 2000 damage. It's crazy. So if I have like five threads or four threads attached to me, it's doing an extra 100 damage per hit. I like the Jinx one though, too, I will admit. I fully like the Jinx one, too. The health pool. Nice. Thanks, Dad. The Fault of Wisdom. Magic. That's a physical. Magic. 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 It's all magic, pretty much, except for, except for one. This is, this is going to help this, though, too, as well. See, so it's 204 now. No annoying people to tell me weird things. This is like the battle before the battle here. The battle before the boss. Oh, this guy. Do I have a thread? Look at the damage in this thing already. Jesus. Stack those jinx, man. And stack those burns and the poisons and all that stuff. My god. Hey, that's a lot of damage. Killing. Oh, wait, I don't have you on a thread yet. I'm powerful. I'm really powerful. On your turn, lose my HP. I don't want to do that one. That one's awesome, but I don't want to do it. And if you get an enemy with one of your bindings, gain one, stack a stored energy for every 10 damage dealt. <laughs> I 
on your turn spawn an orb. Per 10 damage dealt. It's almost willing to take this. Just because it doesn't matter because I always get my threads. Yeah, I'll do that. Epic augments. That could be huge. We'll go Jinx though. I mean both both could be really good. Carver! Only thing I can afford his money or his forward is that. It's too bad too, because look at these. Unhitting inflict one shot. Unhitting 50% chance to do that amount of damage again. That vestige this vestige is not stacked. Oh my god, that's the one. Wow, that's the one. Oh! I have to take this one. This is- this is amazing. Fifty percent chance to be able to do it. God, all these are really good too. All these are really freaking good. I think this is the one I I get rid of the most. Alright, boss time. It's Cthulhu! some oh I forgot he pulls these damage I'm doing here to him 
First off. Is that my Jinx tax? No. I was like, wait, what? God, that was huge. I just meant to pit as many threats as I could on him. Screw it. Alright, fun time, I guess. Two thousand total damage. It's only a dent. In the well. taking damage here so it is what it is ow we get out of here so I can do that Oh, there we go. I didn't know if he was going to summon the tentacles again, honestly. I messed that, I messed that turn up. Yeah, I messed that turn up a little bit. See if I can't get this wrapped up here. There we go. Alright. Should we take down some tentacles? Boom. God, I did so much damage there. And that's your daily. That's how you do it. <laughs> Turn penalty two minus eight victory plus five on five thousand. Glyph grabber, healthy. Encounter wins. Nice. That's a great build. You know, I didn't have anything in here though. That's a great freaking build. This was amazing. I hate that I only got that at this point. There we go. 205. Here, let's go to the beginning. So far, time 14 out of 14 minutes and it's 40,000 40, 40,000 score. Wow. I mean, I did I did kind of take my time there. Once I start getting a little better at the game, I think I'll um I think I'll be able to go through that. <laughs> 
pretty quickly. Silence metronome, nice. Unstable effigy, nice. I apparently become a Leatherface main. I love Leatherface, so I feel you. Trinket key. I guess I started getting my tears up. I guess I started doing ranked. Yeah, Leatherface is awesome. I think we're playing tomorrow night, too. I'm playing tomorrow night with Hoke, if you want to play, King. I just didn't want to play two nights in a row, because I, I wanted to play a couple of these things. 